Welcome back to Life is Strange. We've gone back in time now, changed the past, and everything seems to be much better. For the most part, Chloe's alive. Mr. Jefferson's been arrested, along with Nathan. We're at the Zeitgeist Gallery, we just want Avery to hear his contest, that's all good. Rachel is still dead, of course, we didn't go back that far. Supposed to schmooze around and talk to some industry Jefferson professionals. Supposed to be here tonight. Not anymore. That was so shocking. I have one of his monographs, too. Hold on to it. His work is going to be worth serious cash. Yeah, I'm supposed to talk with people in the art world. Not too interested in that, though. Um, I'm curious, what are the photo opportunities for this episode? Oh my god, look at that picture in the top left. The little outline of the picture. That's Kate, and it's adorable. Oh. Okay, let's see. Chloe Price forever. Um, I think that's at the lighthouse carved on a tree. And then I see, I think two of these images at least are from the whole like storm end of the world scene at the Two Whales Diner. Hmm. Okay. Not my style, but the neon is a nice representation. Oh, shit. Pretentious alert. Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week. I think I remember commenting about this on my first playthrough through. First, first playthrough through. Yeah, that's correct. Um, this person is obviously the same voice actor who does Mr. Jefferson. Week, if that's okay. Congratulations for your piece. Thanks, Jefferson. There I am, along with all the other winners. I should say, artists instead. Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. Thanks. This is water. Hmm. I'm not sure if this is a realistic representation of San Francisco. The street is more than two inches wide on each lane. Wow, sir. A Danny Lee article. The Golden Gate Reporter. I left my art in San Francisco. Yes, I was born on a BART train. Literally. It's a long, amazing story that I won't repeat here. Drinks are required for that one. Here's to mom. That might explain my obsessive love for the Bay Area and its outpost of artists and dissidents. I don't feel like reading the rest. You can pause and read that if you want. I wonder how it is to live in a submarine like that. It must be really claustrophobic. I need to drop some serious cash in there. Donations go straight into community art programs. I know it's kind of simple, but I find this haunting. Right? The instant print makes it look timeless. Nostalgic melancholy. A Who teenage the girl. Artist? I think it's for some contest. That's cool. Seems pretty mature. The person's voice here on the left that I'm right next to. They also sound like another one of the voice actors I've heard in this game, playing a different character, but I don't remember who exactly. I can't quite place it. Maybe Alyssa? Or Stella? I'm not sure. Like, I do not understand art. Is that Joyce's voice actor? No? 
I'm just playing. A, I'm not looking at the art. I'm just playing a game of which voice actors have they reused for these people? Well, I have to say, this is the best everyday hero show I've seen since it began. All the pictures say a lot about our times. Bravo. I think that might be David. I guess everybody is a photographer now. Was that Chloe? Everybody sounds like everybody now. Maybe that's this hellish new reality I've come into. I mean, it doesn't seem hellish, but maybe it actually is secretly hellish because everybody is just everybody that I've met before. I always get so inspired whenever I come here. This makes me feel right, so sad. Like I was back in high school. I sound familiar too. God, I love art. Sort of familiar too. I wonder if I can buy these everyday heroes pictures. Oh, is that a service dog? And there's ours. Hi, excuse me, you're Max Caulfield, right? Um, yeah. Yes. Sorry to bother you, but my name is Danny Lee, and I'm with the Berkeley People's Herald. I edit their art section, and I totally dig your work. Now, I know the whole ironic selfie thing is kind of played out, but there's something timeless about your images, so I I'd love to set up an appointment or, or interview with you when you get a chance. Uh, here's my card. So great talking with you, Max. You I'm pretty sure this is also voiced by the person who does Jefferson. Sadly, it looks like minor roles like this character don't show up in the uh, the cast list that I was able to find. Hi, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. Okay, we lost uh, you there for a second. Your notes. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag, high altitude. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on, please answer. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared! I'm, I'm by the beach! I'm Chloe! Stuck. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god! The tornado was real! Oh, I didn't fix shit! Chloe will die! Arcadia Bay is gonna be destroyed! There has to be a way to stop this! For good! Look at this print. I think we need to go back into one of our pictures over here. Photographer now. I just have to make one simple change, so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. Thank you. 
Here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Eat shit and die. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He, he burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. Whoa, did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please, don't do this. I promise, this final dose won't hurt. Here comes David, and we're going to have to do some stuff to keep David alive and make sure Jefferson dies. Damn. So we got to warn David, I think. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Wait, hold on. Can I... Can I please ask you for one last... request? Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Hmm. Play some music. Yeah, that would keep him from hearing David, right? Could he please at least play some music so I can drift away? Even at the end, you're still a dreamer, Max. It's a nice treat. Now I'm a little bit crazy. Out of my mind, I'm going slightly strange in the head. It's all a little bit hazy. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stay screwy instead. 
step and I'm a little bit cuckoo cackers. Hold it! What? And I promise you. I think I went back too far? Or did I? Should I play some music again? Um... I'm not sure. Let's try something different? Uh, excuse me, but my, my throat is scratchy. Can I please have some water? Of course. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. Moved it closer to us. Good. I think we can work with that and maybe kick it over or something. I promise, this final dose won't hurt. Hmm. What? David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? Oof. And I promise. Well, nice picture? I don't know. It's weird. I um, I pressed the button that I'm pretty sure is supposed to make me go back to the last kind of like key point. If you notice how in the spiral in the top left, there's a little like dot at kind of like key branching points. And I'm pressing the button that's supposed to make me go back there, but that time it made me go back two points. Back to the point where I tried to warn David, and then also back to here. I'm not sure why it did that. Since I did that, I guess I'll just try something completely different. Would you uh, take one last picture of me? I I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but I think you've finally learned from me. Oh. Oh Christ, that's one of the bonus photographs. Ew. I promise, this final dose won't hurt. What? Okay, Warren, is there anything else I can do? Back just a little bit. David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Get the camera next to you! No gun, no balls. Jefferson, it's over! You are not going to stop me! Stop me! He's hiding a gun over there! Sorry, Madsen. Hmm. Sorry, Mad. What do we do at this point? I'm thinking... I think we might need to go all the way back to uh, getting some water instead so that the tray is near us. And then I think when Jefferson tries to run over to the gun, I need to like kick that to stop him from even getting to the shelf where the gun is. I think? Stop me! Just stop me! Oh wait, 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 wait. maybe that? Me. Uh, no, that, that didn't do much.
going to stop me. You're going to stop me. David, kick that table. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Stop me. <laughs> going to stop. Grab me. your gun now. Got it. What? Going to stop me. Okay, we use a bottle, try to use a gun, try going to use to the table me. cable? What's that do? Turn off the lights? Oh, distract him. Okay, there, we're getting places. If I remember oh, right, we get the choice of whether to shoot him or not, right? Are you okay? Are you alright? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. No, thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. And he won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes, I, I can use that picture he took of us. Shit, no signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson, but you won't need this anymore. I had no idea he was this sick. I better go outside and call Warren. Oh, please answer. Maybe we don't get the, the choice of whether to shoot him or not. I don't I don't know. I feel like we do, but it seems like this is pretty wrapped up in here. No more fucking guns. Max, I'm sorry you had to be here. David? Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was going to kill me. You got here just in time. I'm glad. I always suspected that son of a bitch. Uh, I don't think now is really the time to be chiding him for being paranoid. I never did. Until too late. You shouldn't have to suspect your teacher. He wasn't a real teacher. He just wanted to lecture. It was part of his sick plans. Well, you still had the right idea to tell the principal that Jefferson acted shady around Kate Marsh. And Max, I treated Kate like shit. I know she's a good person, but I'm not. I hope I get to tell her that soon. Me too. I think that would make her very happy. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No, I, I should have told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and, and almost used it. I put the school in danger. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you. And Chloe. And your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys while well, you had each other. It's amazing what you can accomplish with the power of love. We... We are a great team. That's one of my problems. I'm not good at teamwork. Never was. Even in the service. I can't even imagine what you went through. I'm not gonna make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but... I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father, too, but... When Joyce kicked me out, 
I had nothing. I'm still glad the Joyce kicked you out. I was pissed off and wanted to rage. Yeah. I know the feeling. Too much. I'm going to tell Joyce I was wrong about you. She does love you. It's pretty obvious. All I can say is no. No, Max, you weren't wrong about David. Not at all. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but... It's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like. Except Joyce. She gave me hope. A new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, she... She would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. Uh, I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. So where is Chloe? David, uh, Chloe is, is dead. This isn't happening. It can't. No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you are you sure? Are you Yes, I I saw her. I I saw a Jefferson killer in the junkyard last night. I forgot what reality we were in for a minute. I forgot this is the one where Chloe's dead and we're trying to get Warren and that picture so we can go back and change things and so that she doesn't die. I kind of forgot about that, otherwise I probably would have hit the truth. Last night? When I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room? Oh god, go back. Rewind. I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I... I God damn it! You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! David, wait! Doesn't he kill himself, too? Please let me rewind. Max. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. I... Chloe. I'm sorry. Joyce. I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max. You better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David. Thank you. For saving me. Please tell me I can go back now. David, um... She was pretty stressed out, so... Um, she went to go... Um, medicate before I ended up in here. So... She's okay. Oh, thank God. For once I'm happy Chloe's a stoner. <laughs> David, I... I have to go outside and get some real air, and use my phone. 
course. Go on, Max. You're a brave soldier. I'm glad Chloe has a best friend like you. Go on now. You've seen enough of this room. Okay, teacher. Let's see what kind of photo evidence you shit all over this computer. Jefferson will end up in jail. But Chloe is dead. Jefferson. Oh, what was that? It's our diary, right? Yeah. Oh, that's a cool touch. Since they burned our diary, we can't read our diary anymore. It's a terrible time for it, but... Photographs. Can't miss photographs. I can't get over how adorable the picture on the top left is. I wonder where that opportunity is. I really don't want to miss it. Not for long. One piece. Oh, Chloe. I'm gonna save you. For the last time. You are gonna fry for this. Okay, I don't think there's any photo opportunities down here. Let's leave. Freedom! Holy shit! This storm is real. I need to find Warren. Yes! Warren, can you hear me? Never mind. Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Wells Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thanks to this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. You can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm is getting smaller. I'm kind of scared. That's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. This is a hell of a driver's test.